you are already familiar with the generate block from the last episode. Today, we will deep dive the usage of if else and case statements inside the generate block. We will do this by thorough examples. Stay tuned till the end of the video to master the usage of the generate block. Hey guys, welcome back to the computer screen. In today's episode, we are going to discuss the below points. First, we will do an introduction. Then we will directly jump on to the two example of if else. And in example one, you will also find the use of case where the if else is the prime one and case will be within. And in example two, you will see pure if else example inside the generate block. And in the next example, that is example three, we will exemplify the generate block with the case. So the case statement. So this is pure case. This is pure if else. And this is a mix of if else and case. That's the menu for today. So without any further delay, let's begin. Introduction. The conditional generate construct select at most one generate block from a set of alternative generate blocks based on constant expressions evaluated during elaboration. So the conditional generate statement at least gives birth to one expression during the elaboration. There are two types of conditional blocks that is if generate that means if else and generate and case generate. These are the two types of conditional blocks that can be used within the generate block and generally people use them because the either they have to use a straightforward code in the generate block which is a very straight and simple use which we have already talked in last episode or in a complex case generally there are different state of a machine right for a state machine so in that case either we will use case or we will use the combination of if and case that depends upon how complex the machine operates the selected generate block, if any, is instantiated into the model. Generate blocks in conditional generate constructs can be named or unnamed. So this is a very important. So the blocks which we are using, right, either they can be named or unnamed. So in today's example, we will see both the named and the unnamed as an example for the blocks name. Generally, each of them may consist of only one item and hence devoid of begin and end keywords. So this is a general practice because if you make the code too much complex, right, then it is difficult for you to instantiate the things. Hence, generally in one particular E for one particular case, generally we have a single statement that is an instantiation of any particular maybe gate or maybe user generated or user defined or any digital circuit. So this thing is very much important here. Since generate blocks are flattened during the elaboration, it is permissible to have more than one block with the same name in the alternative scope within a single conditional generate construct. So now here are a couple of important points to anchor upon. First one is more than one block can have the same name. So we are using a construct right where multiple conditions are there. So there it could be diff uh, the blocks could be have the same name. So the names could be same. However, they should be in the alternative scope. So this is first scope and this is second scope and this is third scope. So you can see here the name is same here. The name is same, but the scopes are very much different. So scopes are not the same, but you cannot have the two different blocks with the same name within the same scope. This, this is not permitted. These are the things you should know before we proceed with the examples. And hence we are done with this particular slide. Let's move on to the next slide code example so here it is if else and case so it is a combined example first we will see a combined example later we will see individual examples of the if and else and case obviously first this is the code to generate a uh, u1.g1 instance or no instance so either this will be generated or no instance will be generated using the generate block methodology so in this way we will quote the constructs that means the if else and case so that this condition is satisfied first we did the module test then we have the parameters p and q defined with the initial values then we have defined where as abc then our condition starts here with if p equal to equal to 1, 
and then we have a nested if if q equal to equal to zero so that means this is the condition for if p equal to one and q equal to zero then instantiate what then instantiate and get and get with the hierarchical name test dot e1 dot g1 uh, since uh, we are writing here so you can see test dot e1 dot g1 so here only at this condition p equal to one and q equal to zero is instantiation will happen inside the generate block next we have the else if in q equal to 2 and p equal to 1 and q equal to 2 so here you can see q equal to 0 and this is q equal to 2 so this condition reaches only if p equal to 1 and q equal to 2 so here you can see that or is here hierarchical name here so this is instantiated so for p equal to 1 q equal to 0 and is instantiated for p equal to 1 and q equal to 2 or is instantiated this way the instantiation is happening else is added to end if q equal to equal to 2 q equal to 2 this is ended by this else and if p equal to equal to 1 and q not equal to 0 or q equal to 2 then there is no instantiation so this is a blank right so there is nothing here else if p equal to equal to 2 we introduce our case inside it and case is controlled by q so for case 1 or 2 or 0 so you can see 0 1 or 2 that means if p equal to equal to 2 so this is satisfied and q equal to equal to 0 1 or 2 then instantiate x or get so you can see the first set of if were for the p equal to 1 and here the second set of things will be for p equal to equal to 2 so whatever happened inside is in if else format and whatever happening inside is in case format so both examples are shown in the same example in the same code now here we introduce our default condition that is for that comes along with the case right if p equal to equal to 2 and q not equal to 0 1 or 2 then instantiate x not get here we also satisfy that if these things are not there or q what to do just instantiate x not and here we end case and here we end module here although you cannot see any generate keyword but you can understand that this code can be easily packed inside a generate statement and you can use these uh, if first and then the case in the second to generate different gate instantiations so you have to have the example of the coding style how you can use the if and else here this is combined now let's move on to the next slide where we give the detail of this uh, example code one explanation this generate construct will select at most one generate blocks module name e1 e1 so you can see for two different condition for p there are two values right first value and second value and q also there are p values three different values or otherwise there would another case so that means all cases are covered at most one of the generate blocks will be created using the generate statement and the case and if combined code the hierarchical name of the gate instantiation that in that block would be s dot e1 dot g1 so you can see the hierarchy right so hierarchy is easily understood here previous page code i have just explained e1 dot g1 instance is one of the following gates and or x or x nor is generated if p and q combination is 10 12 20 21 22 and 2 and default so this way we have covered all the possibilities that means all the permutation and combination of p and q which we have defined as the parameter in the last example and you can see that we have covered all the cases so at least using this particular code you are sure that you will instantiate at least one gate using the generate block so we are done with the explanation let's move on to the next slide code example this is code example 2 and this is about if else so here we are using pure if else and not any if else and case combined as we have seen in the last example so this is the parameterized more multiplier module and here you can see module multiplier a b and product we have a width so we have defined two parameters to define bus width here a width and b width and local param we have defined product with a a width plus b width next can be modified either with the def param statement or module instance statement input a width minus 1 down to 0 a input b width 1 down to 0 b so these things are here output product width minus 1 down to 0 
product so here we have defined all the buses right for the input and outputs using the parameters here which we have defined and here we have also the derived parameter right the product width next we use the generate statement here and we start our first if condition here if a width less than 8 and b width less than 8 begin mark so this is the block name which we have just talked about in the first introduction slide so this is the name of the block so you can see this is the instantiation cla multiplier a width uh, b width is uh, nothing but carry look ahead here it is instantiated as a cla multiplier and here we end so begin and end else begin mult so you can see mult is again used here however this is a different scope so this is the scope of if and this is the scope of else so we have two different scope and we can have the same name here and here it is wireless multiplier and we have the instantiation statement in the if condition we have cla and in the else we have and in the else we have wireless multiplier next we end it the end corresponds to the else here and here we end our generate statement so it corresponds to the generate and here we end our module so in module corresponds to the module statement here so we are done with the exam i hope you have understood it very easily because rather than understanding every bit of the thing the style or or the in the fashion how we are writing the thing is important to you i think you have understood that what we can do and what we cannot do using the codes inside the generate block so you can see here another thing i would like to suggest here you can see the generate statement can can be just placed ahead of the if else block and it can be ended in the end generate in the in the previous example uh, in that means in the code one we have just discussed you can similarly insert the generate just beginning before the if and you can insert end generate when the both if and case has been covered right after that you can end generate so this is the way you can code so here we are done with this particular example let's move on to the next example code example 3 and this is a pure example with the case statement here we start our code with the generate keyword and we have the case statement at the beginning and the case controlling variable is width so we have just skipped the things that we write before and we have just jumped to the generate statement because in the previous example you have seen what we write in the initial right all those things you were done here so you can just understand the generate statement here case width and for width equal to one so if width is one what will happen we'll begin adder so this is the name of the block and here we have this code and this is one bit adder implementation right we end this one let me clear the markers next we have the adder and it is a two bit adder right and here the width if it is two it goes to here and so here we have the two bit adder we end this block so you can see the name is same but the scope is different so we can have the same name in the different scope next we use the default if width is not one or two our control comes to the default one again we are using the name adder here and here in this default we will have the carry look ahead abbreviated as cla sometimes that adder so here we have the adder cla instantiated and here we end it the default will generate the cla adder and here we end our case so this corresponds to this case statement and here we use the keyword in generate which corresponds to our generate keyword so we are done with this particular example and it is very short and simple example to understand the case statement that can be used within the generate and end generate that means the generate block we are done here with this particular slide so let's move on to the next slide thank you very much for watching up to this point and don't forget to like share and subscribe in case you have some dislikes put that as in words in the comment section down below and bye for today